The ingenious use of the cylinder is probably in measuring the volume of irregular shaped solids that may otherwise be difficult to calculate using the standard formula, such as a T Rex's metacarpal. Suppose we have a 100 milliliter measuring cylinder. Make sure that we put it on a flat surface for proper scale reading. First, fill the cylinder partially with water and record the volume. Then submerge the T Rex's metacarpal in the water and observe how the water level rises. The difference between the new and original volumes is the object's volume. For example, if the water level rises from 25 milliliters to 47 milliliters when the T Rex bone is added, the bone's volume is 22 milliliters. But how do we measure the volume of floating objects like a rubber duck? All you need is a metal lump. First, mark the volume of the metal alone in the water. Then, mark the volume of the duck with the metal attached and subtract the two volumes to find the rubber duck's volume.